Negative emotions like hatred destroy your peace of mind. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, in our Mindful Monday segment, we get tips on how to manage those negative emotions. Enjoy. Today I'm going to teach you one of the many techniques that's used with DBT to be able to manage your emotions. It's called distress tolerance. Distress tolerance is the skill of being able to accept the emotion that you're feeling without resorting to coping behaviors that make your situation and your overall condition worse. The top three categories of negative emotions are sadness, anger, and fear. And we all have different degrees of tolerance for these kinds of emotions. It's a normal reaction to want to get rid of the negative emotions. But what you do to get rid of these emotions makes all the difference in what happens to the emotions. Let me explain. Suppose I lose my job. I'm going to be upset about that. It's not realistic to think that I can just take the news and say, oh, that's a shame. But I'm happy to be alive. That's unnatural. We're built to experience a wide spectrum of emotions from happiness to sadness to anger to fear. You may say a person who's secure in themselves and in their faith has no reason to be fearful. But if a bear walks into the room and bears its teeth at me, I will wet my pants and run. Being afraid and wanting to run is an adaptive response for self-protection. So we're all wired to experience the full spectrum of emotions in response to both external and internal experiences. Internal experiences would be what you're thinking about in your head. How you tolerate and experience the different emotions is molded and shaped by your temperament, which is your nature, and your upbringing, which is how you were nurtured. I like to call your temperament your factory installed reflex. It's basically what you were born with and and is based on your genes. But you can be raised to believe that certain emotions like anger are bad and you should never show your anger. If you grow up believing this, then you're going to have serious issues dealing with and being or feeling angry. You may tell yourself that you're not angry, but your mind knows that you are and the anger will show up as anxiety. Or unprocessed anger can show up as depression because that's more acceptable than demonstrating anger or even admitting that you're angry. So you have to be able to accept and handle the range of emotions that you experience. If you have trouble with that, then on an unconscious level, you will find a way to manage that emotion. And here are some of the maladaptive or not so great ways that we try and escape the negative emotions when we can't accept them. Avoidance. This is avoiding situations or seeking reassurance from people. You can also make futile attempts to distract yourself from the emotion. Numbing. You can use alcohol and drugs to numb the feeling or binge eating or even oversleeping so that you don't have to feel the pain. Another way to escape is to use self-harm and this could be cutting or punching yourself or even pulling out your hair. Escaping the distressing emotion only works in the short term. What you do to escape it can cause more problems for you in the long term. So what does it mean to tolerate the distressing emotion instead of escape it? It means you accept it, make room for it, sit with it, and let it pass on its own time. There are several techniques within DBT to help you tolerate distress. Here's one that's based on the concept of mindfulness. When you think mindfully, you focus on what's going on at the moment with acceptance and no judgment. It's just observation. And this is how you're going to treat your negative emotions. Here's a template for how you can think about them. Let's go back to my example of losing my job. I'm enraged because I think my company lied to me about keeping me around during the transition from one company to the next. And to make matters worse, the job went to someone I trained. Now, consciously, I think, I'm so upset. But unconsciously, my real thoughts are, I hate my boss and I want to beat him down to the ground. 
But with my upbringing, ladies don't think like that. And especially a Christian woman, that's evil to think such a thing. So I'm not consciously aware of my aggressive impulses. That's what a therapist would help me see. And instead, I bury my anger in a pan of brownies and I pick out my eyebrows. Here's what I want to do to process my rage. And this is a mindfulness exercise. Recognize and allow the emotion. This reflection is best made after I first hear the news that I'm being let go. I want to deal with this early before I get to the pan of brownies. So I would say, I'm feeling angry at Bob. In fact, I hate him. But I'm not bad because I have this feeling and I can allow myself to have it. I'm going to make space for it and I do not need to be afraid of it because I'm not going to take action against Bob. I can control myself. So I don't need to get rid of this feeling. So here I am admitting to the worst possible emotion that I can have about this situation. I want to assume that I'm going to downplay it in my mind. So go ahead and blow it up and own it. I'm not just mad. I hate him. But there's no judgment here. It's just an emotion. That's it. I'm not going to act on it. I'm just going to let it sit here with me. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.